Welcome, and thank you for joining us in this first video, which introduces a series of demonstrations on the data loading tools. The purpose of this series is to help you better understand what these tools are, how to get started, and how to use them. The data loading tools are a free solution provided by Esri to help you streamline loading data from a source to a target data set with the ability to perform in-flight data transformation. These tools can leverage data in any format readable by Esri software. Use these tools to consolidate data from various sources and schemas into a new target schema. The tools allow you to map your data in detail, from the class level through subtypes and fields, all the way to mapping your coded value domains and transforming individual values. There are many scenarios where the data loading tools can help you transform and load your data more easily. For example, use these tools if you need to transform your parcel data to load it into a statewide aggregated parcel layer. Use them again if you need to transform data to migrate the schema of customer information to integrate with a new customer relationship management system. Another common workflow would be to migrate water utility assets into a utility network management system. When starting with the data loading tools, you will be provided with a documented process with detailed steps on how to get the tools you need and how to get started loading your data. The toolbox provided contains a simple tool to perform an ad hoc data loading process, which doesn't need to be repeatable, and for processing single data sets. More extensive tools are also provided to streamline a repeatable processing experience. The first tool is used to create Excel workbooks from your source and target schemas, which are used for field mapping and specifying attribute transformations. Another tool uses these Excel workbooks to load and transform your data into the target schema. These tools can help you speed up your data migration process and reduce the time spent manually transforming your data. These tools will also help you simplify the process of source and target mapping. You can now create an iterative and reusable data migration process with no code required. Once configured, the data loading workbooks can be saved and rerun many times to support workflows like incremental data loading or changed and run to support workflows like pilot data conversions. In our future videos, we will walk you through a common data loading workflow where a water utility needs to migrate their data from the geometric network into Esri's utility network data model. When moving data between robust schemas, like the type typically used to represent a water distribution system, documenting your source data schema and how it corresponds to the target schema can be confusing and difficult to manage. For this reason, the Microsoft Excel workbooks are provided to simplify the field mapping and data loading processes. A tool analyzes your source and target datasets and populates the workbooks with fields from the target schema and valid source fields. This accelerates setup and reduces potential translation errors. Here's a visual representation of what's being done when using tools to move utility data from the geometric network into the current utility network schema. In this example, the features from the water fittings class in the geometric network on the left become a subtype in the water junction class of the utility network. While the new fitting subtype still has a domain assigned, the coded values have been changed and new values have been added while others were removed. Now, let's see how the complex changes here represented with arrows are being mapped in the Excel workbooks. On the left-hand side are listed the workbooks for mapping source to target point classes. The fitting water junction workbook is used to map assets from the fitting class in the geometric network to the water junction class in the utility network. In the workbook, source fields, values, and expressions can be assigned for each target field. 
A lookup system also provides the ability to map more complex data models with domains and subtypes. In the current example, the lookup sheet has been used to assign new coded values and code descriptions for the different types of fittings. So on the fitting type sheet, the fitting type values are mapped to a new asset type target using a code and an updated description. In this way, for example, bend will now be defined by code 44 and the description is updated to elbow. So what do you need to get started with your own data loading? Well, you need Microsoft Office Excel 2016 and at least ArcGIS Pro 2.4 or the latest released version available. Make sure to review the system requirements and make sure you have all the necessary components to proceed with setup. Next, follow the steps to install the data loading tools available from the Python Package Manager as DLT solutions in ArcGIS Pro. If you are a water or an electric utility looking to migrate from the geometric network to a utility network, the data loading tools have been configured with a more specific workflow for both the water distribution and electric distribution and transmission systems. The configurations provide instructions specific to these industry configurations, along with sample data and sample mapping workbooks. You can also explore the ArcGIS Learn Path for getting started with the Water Distribution Utility Network Data Loading Solution. This path provides blogs, story maps, and articles with useful information to help you through the process. So to summarize, the data loading tools are free tools to help you streamline loading data by mapping source to target classes, fields, values, and domains. Configurations are available for the water utility and electric utility data models provided in the Esri solutions to help you migrate from the geometric network to the utility network. Go to www.esriurl.com DLT to get the tools now and start your own data loading project. If you have any questions, please visit the GeoNet community page and stay tuned for future resources and updates. Thank you for listening.